<laughs> I realize I do the same wave every single time. So we'll sit for a few seconds, wait for people to pop on. Live video. Say hi when you come on so I know you're here. Just say, hey, Nikki. <laughs> hey, Deanna, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I love when people follow directions. Hey, Ellsworth, thank you for joining in. If you get a chance, go ahead and share the video. Hey, cool and metal, coal and metal. You'll have to tell me what that means. Um, if you could share the video, that would be awesome. Thanks so much for the thumbs up and the hearts. Hey, uh, hey, Angeline, how are you? Um, so today, Angeline, I don't know. Did you just invite yourself into my broadcast? <laughs> Hey, Okolo, how are you? So I want to know about people's wins. I've been very intentional and I've, I'm on a good run. I think that we've done it four times this week. Hey, Petrina. Hey, Jessica Grace. Oh, you're, you're, a, you're Avi. Avi, I'm not sure. It's pretty. Jessica, you look great. Um, hey, Michelle, how are you? Um, so I just want to share wins. So we really have been talking about, hey Zach, we've really been talking about like the things that we've been doing through the day so that we can celebrate ourselves and continue to support each other as we, you know, just go through this journey called life. Hey Dwayne. And so I really, hey Nick, um, Liz Mary Williford, how are you? Good to meet you. So I really just want to talk about that. Like, what are your wins for the day? What did you get accomplished? I'm really very, um, I'm a, I, I talked about this on a previous broadcast. I'm really a to-do list kind of girl. So I, every day I have to have a to-do list or my world would fall apart. And I have like, um, uh, you know, one for business and I have one for like personal household kinds of things. And so my system is hey Kayla Marie how are you I love the name Kayla um, my system is you know I tried to you know get at least five for the business I try to get at least um, five money-making activities done per day so five activities that are really going to add to you know revenue um, for your business or if you know you're you're building a business, you know, and you're still employed whatever it means But I try to get five things done every day that is going to add um, Revenue to the business. So that is my system and most days it happens. It hasn't happened today Because <laughs> I've been very I had like a lot of um, um, Just intense stuff. I got a presentation to do I had to build a landing page I mean, I just had a lot of stuff to do that that um, even though eventually they will add money to the business right now, they were just kind of, you know, you got to put your head down and do the work. So I probably will have a couple, you know, of things that I'm going to finish up after I finish talking to you. Hey, Barry, but I was getting sleepy. <laughs> so I decided I better do this uh, before it gets too much later. So I'm glad that you guys could join me. If you all do have wins for the day, um, Oh, good, Jessica. I'm glad you did a to-do list. I love to-do lists. I wish I could. I need to invent like a to-do list planner so that I could make some money off to-do lists because I think that they are phenomenal. I love to-do lists and I love um, planners. So, Jessica, so when your to-do list gets too long, because it will, um, put the five most important things up top. Whether they're money-making activities or whether they're just things that you need to do, put the five most important things up top and do those first so that you do get something accomplished and then you can work through the rest of your to-do list. I had to learn that. Hey, Cortez. Hey, Charles Harper. How are you? Hey, <laughs> Ephraim. Good evening. Your win for the day was more infrastructure for your business. Infrastructure is good. Um, infrastructure is good for business and um, systems, which could be the same thing, but some people phrase them differently. So I'm not really a systems person, but I'm getting better at it. Hey, Rodolfo, you're continuing to do what you're supposed to do. Clean work, school, and drawing, still continuing to build yourself. Good for you. Good for you. So, and, and to-do list kind of goes with what I wanted to talk about today. Uh, <laughs> Zach, you are a flirt. Zach says just seeing me is a win, so I'll take it. I will take that any day. Um, but it's kind of what I wanted to talk about because I think that we get so caught up in trying to get so much accomplished and we've become a multitasking society. Um, and I really don't buy into that theory because I really think that you can only focus on 
um, one thing and really do it well. And so when we have so many things to do and so many things to accomplish, I think that it sends us into this state of overwhelm. Um, and I experienced that um, a little today, but really I experienced it yesterday. Just you feel like you've got so much that you have to get done and you keep, you know, your list, like Jessica said, your list is like really long and you don't get it done one day. So it carries on to the other day. And so it just gets to be so heavy. And, um, and I get really hard on myself if I don't feel like I've accomplished anything. And so, you know, when I get to that, I have to remind myself that I really can only do um, one thing at a time. Oh, no, that is a good suggestion. Cortez said he had to learn to write a to-don't list as well. And I do, I do that too. Like, you know, I... Um, well, it's not really, well, I guess it is a to-don't list because I'll get caught up in little things, especially now that I work from home. Like, I'll, I'll be working on a presentation and then forget I need to do the laundry. And so then I'll go do the laundry and then I'll see that the kitchen is dirty. So then I want to clean the kitchen and then I'll see that maybe dinner isn't ready. So then I want to make dinner. And so I make a list of, when I start to get bored, like I'm working on one thing, I have a list of other things that I can do that still are business focused, but it may not be as intensive. So maybe I need to um, update social media or maybe I need to write a new blog. I mean, I just have a list of things that I can do to keep me busy so that I, so I don't have to go to my to don't list. Like don't go watch ID because I'm addicted to ID and don't go play spades on my iPad. There, there's like so many things that I could do that I don't. And so you really have to be focused. And then, Jessica, I would suggest that you have a cutoff. So, and we're back to the to-do list, but you have a cutoff so that once you do get a certain amount accomplished, that you say, okay, I'm good. So either you take a break, you go eat lunch, you, you know, you go sit in your garden, whatever it does that refreshes you, don't just plow through the entire thing because then you really will um, just feel exhausted and may not have your focus. But I just want everybody to, to remember that, you know, we're not robots, we're not machines, we are human, there are other aspects of life. And even though um, I am so focused on business, I mean, I'm like an overachiever that I really could sit for like 16 hours a day and just work. Um, that's not necessarily healthy um, for me as a person. It may be healthy for the business, but it's not necessarily healthy for me as a person. And if I'm not here, the business isn't here. So Tammy has a win. She got her workout done. Yes. She got in three hours of study time. Yes. She promoted her books. Awesome. And even had time to help a friend with a resume. That is a winning day. Very good for you. Um, yeah, I do. And you know what I even do um, uh, that, that I started doing? And I've probably done it maybe for a couple of years now. Um, I do my to-do list for the next day before I go to bed. And then when I wake up, I, I review it and I kind of, um, I, I pray over it. And I, in, you know, I visualize everything going well and me getting everything done and me getting everything done without feeling overwhelmed. And I, you know, I give thanks that I was able to get it accomplished. And that really, um, we talked yesterday about just setting up a morning ritual. That has become part of my morning ritual because for me, um, you know, it just sets the tone for the day. And so, you know, it's just something I learned. I don't know where I picked it up. I read it somewhere, but it really does calm me. And I feel more in control of, um, the tone of my day. And I feel more in control of the emotions, um, that I have going in, into the day. And so that helps me. That might be something that you do. <laughs> oh, Barry says he likes my five things. He has to try to have a different goal every day. Wink. Okay. <laughs> No, I get it. I get it. I mean, I'm, I just, I just, if I don't have a list, it doesn't, I just don't get it done. So, um, oh, good. Thank you, Cortez. It really is very helpful. And I really, um, I really do feel like I get accomplished, but I think that, um, I think that we get so caught up in, um, you know, success, meaning that we think success has to be hard. And so if we don't feel like we're working hard, we don't feel like we'll be successful. And so I, I want everything that I do in my business and my personal life, I always ask that it, that it be easy. 
um, that it be uh, effortless, you know, and that it it's smooth. Because I don't think you have to necessarily kill yourself to be successful. I don't think you have to work yourself into the ground to be successful. Um, I think you have to work smarter and not harder. And, you know, obviously you have to put in the work, but it doesn't have to grind you down. And so, um, so yeah, so, so making that to-do list, having my top five things that, you know, I'm really focused on finishing um, and hopefully them being, you know, money-making activities. Um, and then really kind of like praying over it and then releasing it really is very helpful for me. So I just want to celebrate you awesome on all the wins. Oh, Tiana has a win for the day. Finally got your product labels delivered, mixed your facial moisturizer, and took the photographs for my, your dual, my, for your dual T skincare website. Uh, so type your website in, Tiana. I want to go look at it. That's awesome. Good for you. I admire anybody that can make, like, skincare products. I, like, do the, um, you know, the ones that you make at home yourself, but to really make something that works, I think is awesome. So good for you, Tiana. I'm proud of you. Um, so, yeah, so that I just popped in. Like I said, I got some stuff that I have to finish off, but I'm really trying to be intentional about showing up and just hanging out with you guys because you guys keep my spirits lifted, and hopefully I do a little bit of that for you, too. Um, but I still do have some work to do, so I'm going to get back to that I'm going to bid you adieu and I will probably see you sometime tomorrow so you guys take care have a good evening